you would like to know how I want to say goodbye to you leaving for a summer holiday, then stay tuned and I will let you know in a moment. Hi, here's Max with the last video before I leave for my summer holiday. Today I will make it very personal by using my fingerprint as a background. I'm enlarging it with a simple copy machine, first by 200% and then again by another 120% and print it on deli paper again. After removing the carrier page, I'm taking my art journal and covering it with a thick layer of gesso to get a real white foundation. Then I'm adhering the fingerprint onto the page and sealing it right away by using matte medium gel. Using different shades of blue acrylic paint and a baby wipe, I'm covering the background so that the waves of the fingerprint can still be seen. The center is much darker as it shall represent the deep blue sea and then I'm setting everything aside to dry. Meanwhile, I'm sketching some algae on a scrap piece of green design paper and cutting it afterwards with the scissors. I'm also sketching some corals on red, yellow and orange papers and fuzzy cutting them as well. And of course we need an old rack. After sketching it onto white cardstock, I'm using my Prismacolor pencils to color it. I'm applying the colors only lightly as I will blend them afterwards by using a solvent. Unfortunately I missed to film this here, but you will see it later when I'm doing the fish. Today I'm using these crazy fish stamps. I think they are so funny, I immediately had to smile when I first saw them. I'm stamping them with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and also coloring them with the pencils. The solvent I'm using is Diluent N and similar to Gamsol, solving the oil components in the pencils and thereby make the colors blendable. I'm always receiving the best results by using these paper stumps. All these pieces will be colored and blended in the same way. And here you can see the result. Today I'm stamping the letters and this time in an ombre look by inking them in strikes with the ink pads. But as you can see here, the colors are not bright enough and so I'm additionally working on them with the color pencils again. But now, back to the journal. I'm first adhering the algae with matte medium on both sides. The bottom ends will now vanish behind some rocks. Before I'm proceeding with the other corals, I'm lifting the top of one of the alga again and placing our wreck behind it. Mast and sails are completing the pieces of the old ship. And then I'm following up on the corals again. I was thinking for hours how I could do some rays of light that are obvious but not overwhelming. And so I'm using here a white Prismacolor pencil with a stencil. Afterwards, I'm extending the rays and then using the solvent again.
And now, may I have the fish please? So first we have the crazy looking jellyfish. And here the little crabby. And here's the chubby one. And last but not least, the little pink one. And now, the letters. I see you in September, which I'm really hoping that we do. For the shading, I'm using different colors this time. I'm using green for the algae. And here blue for the shades in the water. And of course brown for the darker shades of the rocks and the corals. And then I thought that crazy fish would look even more funny with some googly eyes. And so I'm adhering them with simple craft glue. I'm using the white gel pen this time to create some bubbles here and there. And to make the rays of light even more shiny, I'm covering them with a layer of Wink of Stella clear glitter pen. Well, and this is how my farewell is looking at the end. Many, many thanks to all of you for a wonderful first half of 2016. I promise the break won't be that long and I'll be back latest mid of September. And so I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, please like, share and comment this video. If this was your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Because by this you show me that you like my arts and you will be immediately notified if a new video is available. And here I have some more vids for you. Just click on them or use the info cards as well as the links in the comments if you are watching from a mobile device. So there is nothing more to say than have a great summer and hope to see you in September. Bye bye!